Hey everyone, happy Halloween. I'm Fairy Meadow and on behalf of facefeedingtips.com, I'm here today to make a really fun Halloween eye mask for you. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to make sort of the Halloween princess face. Now, this is really fun. I see a lot of girls in really cute little orange and black witch costumes from the Halloween shop and they're adorable and I think this makeup would go really great with them, but it's also good for teenagers and adults to get into the Halloween spirit. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to begin by starting to sponge with a high density sponge some really nice metallic paint. And this is white metallic by Diamond FX. I'm going to sponge this onto my eyelids, along the ridge of my um, brow bone, and around my eyes to bring a lot of lightness and um, direct the attention to the, to the eye area of my face because this is where we're going to put our face paint on. Now, you're going to need a little bit of water on your sponge and just go ahead and rub your sponge against this. Just so you get the right amount, you can check to make sure it's not too dirty by tapping it on your hand and you can also tap out excess paint by doing that. So I'm going to take my mirror and I'm going to sponge onto my eyelids, across the ridge of my nose, all over. Now the nice thing about this is it doesn't have to be totally perfect. You want it to look balanced, um, but you're going to be painting around this. So this is really just to highlight your eye. Bring it down, tap under, come up. You don't want to get it too far down on the ridge of your nose. That's not where we're trying to bring the attention. You're kind of creating just a shape of a mask right around your eye area. A little bit wider on here, it comes up. A little wider around here, it comes up. And we're just stippling the paint on by lightly tapping. Tapping, tapping, tapping. Really gentle. These are your eyes and likely, if you're lucky, you'll be painting someone else's face and not your own when you practice this. Um, so there we go. That's easy, really quick. Now I'm going to load a um, three-quarter inch square flat brush with this hot Prisma Cake by Paradise Paint. I'm going to use the yellow, the red, and the orange colors. And I'm going to go ahead and just run my paintbrush up and down on top of those colors, back and forth, till I work the paint all the way up towards this metal part of my paintbrush right here. So this is just going to take me a second. Now when you're using Prisma Cakes, make sure your brush is really well saturated. You need a lot of moisture on your brush. Not so much that the paint's dripping and running together, but enough to keep the paint really rich because you're going to need nice crisp edges from this. So I'm going to start out by making um, kind of like an upside down teardrop. Right there, right in the center of my face. Then I'm going to come out with two more teardrops that are angled at a 45 degree angle. Just like that. There we go. We've got the top of almost a fleur de lis shape on top of our head. I'm going to reload my brush because, like I said, you want really crisp edges. See how the edges of all of these shapes are really clean and clear? That way I don't have to go over them later, which is really nice. And it's a great time saver when you're painting at Halloween events or when you're painting little ones. You don't like to sit still for very long. So I'm going to bring out some more um, of these similar shapes. I'm going to flip my brush though because I want to get a lot of different colors and, and looks in here at once. Two more, bringing them together right there. Do the same thing on the other side. One. And two, and sweep, bring that color in. There we go. Now we're going to come down to make almost a ribbon effect. I'm just reloading my brush again. I'm going to come down by coming from the bottom of here. I'm going to use my red brush, red color on the outside of the design. Come down like this, sweep into the corner of my eye, come out and make another teardrop, and then sweep out at an angle and come down. Straightening out your brush right at the end. You're going to straighten out your brush. I'm just going to add a little more color. Do you see how it started to fade right there at the bottom? That's because my brush wasn't wet enough. Now, super important when working with Prisma Cakes, as I said before, lots of times. Keep that brush nice and wet so it looks really clean so you don't have to do what I'm doing now where I'm going over the same thing. There it is. All right, so that's, you know, half of it's done already. It's so quick. Once you get these Prisma Cakes down, if you're a face painter professionally or even if you just have fun with it, it's going to change the way you paint. They're great. So I'm going to do the same thing on this side. I've got my red on the outside. I'm going to come down, sweep into the corner of my eye, come out with a teardrop, come down, and straighten my brush. Whee! Just like that. You can just fix any little imperfections that you've made. There we go. All right. 
So there's that side, there's this side. Now if you want, of course, um, you can add some extra details to this. Now I think this is pretty fun, it's just the way it is. If you were in a hurry at a big event, this would be just fine. You could walk away and be like, you're the Halloween princess. These are great Halloween colors and it's really fancy. But if you want, you can, um, you can add a little black if you feel like you need to. And I've got a number three round brush and some um, black paint by Paradise Maron. So I'm just going to add um, some really easy details. Get my brush nice and wet. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to make some teardrops right here. Make one long thing, one in the middle, coming down. And some other little ones on the side. Like that. Just to bring some black in, another element of Halloween. You can make some long thin teardrops over here. And then come down, make a little swirl, and just do the same thing on the other side. Trace that top one with a long thin teardrop, make some more long thin teardrops around it, and then bring another swirl down, tracing the bottom one. There we go. Both sides. And then if you want, you can make some long thin teardrops sort of just at the top, really easy. Just swish, swish, and one more, swish, swish. So there we go. There's a really easy um, mask that you can make. I call it the Halloween Princess Mask. I think it's really cute and fun, super fast. And thank you so much for watching. This has been Barry Meadow on behalf of FacePainingTips.com. Have a happy Halloween and a wonderful day. Bye.